Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Friday, February the 2nd. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany and week four in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Truly God is good to Israel, to them that are pure of heart. Alleluia. Psalm 73. Please recite with me. Alleluia. Truly God is good to Israel, to them that are pure of heart. And yet my feet were almost gone, my steps had almost slipped. For I was envious of the foolish, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they suffer no pain, their bodies are sleek and sound. They share not in human misfortunes, neither are they plagued like others. Therefore pride encircles them like a necklace, and violence covers them like a garment. Their hearts overflow with iniquity, and they seethe with wicked thoughts. They are corrupt and speak wickedly, plotting oppression from on high. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their evil speech walks through the earth. Therefore the people turn to follow, and drink in all their words. And they say, How does God know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Truly, I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued, and punished every morning. If I say I will speak thus, I should offend the generation of your children. And when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, and then I understood the end of the wicked. Surely you set them in slippery places, and you cast them down to destruction. How suddenly they are brought to desolation. They are utterly consumed by terror and perish, like a dream when one awakes. So God, when you awake, you shall make their image vanish. Thus, when my heart was grieved, and I was cut to the quick, so foolish was I and ignorant, I was like a stupid beast before you. Nevertheless, I am always with you, you have held me by my right hand. You shall guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me with glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? There is none on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fails, but you are the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For they that are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all that are unfaithful. It is good for me to be near you. I have put my trust in you, God, that I may declare all your works. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Truly God is good to Israel, to them that are pure of heart. Alleluia. The letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12, beginning at verse 3. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary in your souls or lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as children. My child, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, or lose heart when you are punished by him. For the Lord disciplines those whom he loves and chastises every child whom he accepts. Endure trials for the sake of discipline. God is treating you as children. For what child is there whom a parent does not discipline? If you do not have that discipline in which all children share, then you are illegitimate and not his children. Moreover, we had human parents to discipline us, and we respected them. Should we not be even more willing to be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time as seemed best to them. 
but he disciplines us for our good in order that we may share his holiness. Now discipline always seems painful rather than pleasant at the time, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For those who are sick, for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering with dementia, and for Bill, and for all who struggle with addiction, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. for prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who have died, especially Martin, Sarah, Brother Stephen Edward, William, Brother Walter Arthur, Stephen, Tom, and Fred, and for all who serve in harm's way, and for all the victims of terrorism and violence that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the mercy of God associates. for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Save us from pride and envy, dear God. Draw near and mercifully hear us. Guide us with your counsel and clothe us in your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.